Hi, this is Quinn Rush, and today I'm going to show you how to make a clown on the rainbow room. And I don't have one made right now, so if you want to see how it looks like, then you'll have to go to the end of the video. Not the very end, but almost to the very end. So first, we're actually going to start with the body, since if we started with the head, it wouldn't fit. So, um, first you're going to put three bands here for the neck, and then, um, here I'm going to do yellow for the shoulders, that didn't get long very well, and then down here also and now just so you can see I have the neck and then two down in the middle and shoulders and two down in the sides so what I'm going to do I need to look at something Okay, you're going to go down two more times in the middle. And two more times on the sides also. Now you're going to start on the pants that you mine are going to be okay. green and purple. So I'm going to take some purples, go here. You can turn the ones that the arrows are pointing towards you, like this, so you can actually see them right side up, like, like that. And I'm double banding this whole time, by the way. And now I'm going to do a green. I'm going to go here. And then I'm going to go in to this peg here and Henry, can you please stop doing that? I'm making a video. And now I'm gonna do the legs. So I'm gonna take two purples and go down once on both sides and then two greens on both sides that and now 
two purples on both sides. Purples on each side. And two greens on each side. I need more greens. going to make him some shoes later. Now we're going to put on some bands that go across. Oh, sorry, at the top. We're going to be doing triangles, so I'm going to put one here. Here. Purple one here and a green one here. And then I'll need one more green for a cap band right here. I'm going to do mine four times. So. One, two, three. Four. So there should be four loops on that peg. And now I'm gonna make him a bow tie. I'm gonna go down to where his legs are. And I want his bow tie to be I was both going to be purple. So I'm going to take three purple bands. Wait, no. I'm going to take one purple band, make it into a figure eight, and fold it over on itself. And I'm going to put that. right over here and on those two pegs. Now I'm going to take three purples and I'm going to put them across it. And now I'm going to take this end and put it over to this end and take the bottom two loops that you see and pull it over. Now you're going to take this end and pull it tight but not so tight you're going to break it. And now you can just let go of that because you made a knot. And now you're going to take off his little bow tie. So that's what it will look like. You don't really have to use three bands, you could use as many as you want. I just think it looks good with three. Now, I'm going to do some polka dots. These are optional, you don't have to do these. But I want to. I'm going to put one. And it does matter where you put the polka dots because of the arms. And I'm going to put one, I'm going to wrap it four times, or three times to create four loops. Two, three, four, so there should be four loops on that peg. And on the other side, 
one, two, oh no. Three, four. So I have four lifts on this place. And I'm gonna. S oh, sorry, I'm gonna go off camera. And I'm gonna skip this peg and put one right here. Three, four, and on the other side, one, two, three, and four. And I'm also going to put one right here in the middle. One. And I'm going to put this bow tie on this top peg right here with the bow by the neck. Now you're going to make him some shoes. Clowns have really big shoes. So, I'm just going to move this one. This part. Take my hook, just ignore all this random stuff in my hook. That's for later. I'm going to put two purple mans on. Twist them. Put them on. Twist them again and put them on. So they should be, um... There should actually be six loops on your hook. And now I'm going to take two more and do that same thing. So I'm taking two loops and wrapping it three times. And now I'm going to take three bands. You can use two for this part if you don't have very many bands. And you're going to move all of these onto the three purple bits. And make sure you have all of them. Like, I missed one, so I put it back over. And I'm going to put this in back on. And you're going to take three more purple bands. And slide this onto those. So that is one shoe. And I'm going to put it right here. Like this. You can angle it if you want. And I'm going to do that again. Two bands. And um, when I put them on, I count that as one speed right here. Two, three, two hands again. One, two, three. And now. Three bands. Put them on your hook. And slide all of these loops onto those three bands. You can do it. So I have all of on the three bands. Put that in back on. And take another three bands. And apply that onto those. I'll go ahead and put these back. I'm going to put that on this 
And then I actually did miss a few. So I'm gonna do it with my fingers. Sometimes it's easier to do it with hooks, sometimes it's easier to do it with my fingers. But you probably want it to do it on your hook, because it's normally easier. Now, all these parts are optional. If you didn't want them to have polka dots or a bow tie or something, you wouldn't have to do that. I'm going to do suspenders. Some clowns with suspenders. I'm going to take my hook. Put one purple band on it. Now take another purple band and put one under my hook to hold the other one to with my finger and I'm going to take this band put it onto that band and reclaim the end now you're going to take this back part and slide it over the hook and pull that and that is one suspender we're going to make the other one. Do the same thing. Put one band on the hook. And hold one in with your finger. And then slide the other band on. Reclaim. And slip the back end over the front. And pull tight. And those suspenders. I'm going to go. I'm actually going to take this purple holding band off and pull this one off. Slide. Actually, this might, you might want to do this. slide. This is because there's a loop on the end of the suspenders. Slide your hook in that. Grab somehow. Grab these two bands and pull the suspenders onto them, and then put it back on. You can just let the suspenders hang there. And we're gonna do that on the other side. Put, take your other suspender, put it on your hook, and I think it's easier to grab this from the bottom. Grab this and pull the suspender onto those two purples and put it back on. So your suspenders should be on the sides like this. And they will look like suspenders when we're done, they just don't right now. And don't forget to put that purple band back on. And now the arms. I'm just gonna move this out of the way. You're going to take a skin colored band on your hook, or a white band, either one, and wrap it once, twice, and three times on your hook, like that. And now take two skin colored bands, put them on the end of your hook, and just slide these over. And if you have another loom, you can also make this on the other one. So that's the hand. Now, we're just going to remove that for a little bit, and it should stay just like this. Or like this, or whatever. And now you're going to take... A red band, I'm using red, th your polka dot color. If you're not doing polka dots, this thing is this part. And one, two, three, four, you should see four loops on your hook. Push that back. And I'll take another one. One, two, three, four. You should see four loops on your hook. 
and I have to separate those. And now take your little hand and put all of the loose back on your hook. And you're going to take two yellow bands, put it on your hook, and slide the hand over, but don't reclaim. Now you're going to slide on one of these polka dots. Make sure you get all of the loops. And then you can reclaim. Now you're going to put on two more yellow bands, but not a polka dot. And just put them on your hook and slide the arm over. Reclaim. Put two more bands on your hook, slide the arm over, but don't reclaim. Pull over your next polka dot, and now you can reclaim. You need one more set of yellow bands. Put it on your hook, and pull this over and reclaim. And that arm is going to go yeah. actually take off this poke dot and this poke dot. and put the arm on. You're going to need to make another arm and put it right here on the other side. I already made it. So you can rewind the video and make another arm. There. You have two arms with polka dots. And now you can put the suit for this big arm on, push the arms down. One, two, three, four loops. And same here. One, two, three, and four loops. Now I think that's all. I have to think so I don't forget anything. Yep, that's all. There is this now there is a tricky part with the suspenders from right here. So you know when you're in that. You're gonna reach in the foot, push back all of those bands, I know it's a lot. And grab the two bottom bands. And grab the next two long bands. And the next. Oh, and make sure the arrows are pointing towards you on this part. And if you don't have arrows, make sure these the open end of these pegs is pointing towards you. And keep and loop up the whole leg. But when you get to this one, stop right where it meets the body. And go down and loop the other end. One more. Now, I'm going to push this down, maybe pull the cap band up a little bit, push back the cap band, but make sure it doesn't pop off, and grab the top two bands, and pull them over to there, and grab the next two bands, and pull them over there, to the other leg, and now, grab the middle two, 
and pull those up. Now this is the tricky suspenders part. You're going to take the suspenders and put the other end on the top of the pants and pull that tight. Put your finger in the suspenders. You know, you see how it creates this little loop here? Put your finger in there. Whip this loop on the suspenders around the peg. And now push back all those. Grab that, those two bands and put them there. And now you can unhear the suspenders. That loop that of the suspenders that was on the peg. You're going to pull that over so that it's looped onto this band. And later, how that works is we're going to pull it over the shoulder. And now we're going to do this one. Put the suspender on. Keeps it all functioning. Hold that with your finger. Now push back all of the greens and loop this purple one. And now you have two suspenders. I'm just getting mine. They don't have to look perfect right now. And now I'm going to loop up the middle. When you get to this polka dot, push it down, pull the band up a little bit, but not off the peg. Now you're going to go under these top two bands right here. Grab the polka dot, hold the spin on your finger, and pull the polka dot over the peg. And now you can move the last band. And now you're going to take your bow tie and pull it over. And now I'm going to move up the left side, or er, the right side. I dropped my band. Don't do that. <laughs> now you're going to do the same thing with the polka dot. And I actually missed a little red one right here. So I'm going to go back under and grab it and put it back on. Now you're going to continue moving up that side, and the next polka dot should be right here, above, above the arm, not above the arm, but on the same peg as the arm. And now you're going to take it and loop it over, and I left one band again, and pull that over. And now you can go under. All these armbands grab the two bottom ones and move that up. Now go down and move up the other side because the polka dot. Oops, took that band off. I'm just going to put it back on. Yeah, I'm gonna push all the bands on that peg down and pull these up just a tiny bit. There. That's 
better. Now you have to pull that on. Now you're going to keep looping. And you're going to push that arm down. Grab these bands and pull them over the top. I only got one band. on the bottom without looping up any on the arm and now you're going to reach in this peg which has a lot of bands in it and you just grab the three bands in the neck it's going to be this one with the little white hand and that one with the little skin color hand so he's wearing one glove. <laughs> no. I'm not going to tie this off. But I'm going to go to the bottom and take off my legs. This part I just do with my fingers, but later on here, probably start have to use. You probably start having to use your hook. He's looking good so far. He's very clowny. And now on this part, I'm going to use my hook. and take them off very gently so you don't break the bands You can just leave the suspenders alone for now, or you can pull them up. No. Find the place. I think not one of the loops. Don't put it in one of the loops. Find right here and pull it over the arm. So it's like a strap. No. Take the other one in the same place with some of the loops. Tip is it'll be the place where it's not stopped by a knot, like this one's stopped by a knot. This one's not a good way to. I guess that doesn't make any sense. body with his little bow tie and his little suspenders. I think he looks really cool on so far. I'm just adjusting the suspenders right now. Oh, well, I guess I can do that later. Make sure the smidges go under the bow tie, not over the bow tie. Now I'm going to do his head. And I'm just actually just going to take this off. And I'm just trusting that his neck won't fall apart if you had like a little holding hook or something you know in fact I do have a holding hook just put it through here and through here there I'm gonna make his hat. 
need to make his hat purple and green. So I'm gonna take my greens and go down one. Actually, I'm going to put it right here. I think. No. Down. So, one, two, three, four, five. On the fifth to the sixth peg. And now I'm going to take purples, and by the way, I'm using two pans at a time here. I always use two pans at a time, except on the neck I use three, and the polka dots I use one. And I'm going to go here and here, and I'm going to take... Greens. Sorry, it takes. I have like a mixed pack, so it takes me a while to find my greens. I think that's enough greens. I'm gonna go. Here and here. I'm going to take purple, go here and here into my greens and go down here. Now purples go here, here, and here. The thing is, after that, I take these and go down to here. I just stretch them farther and on the other side, too. So instead of being stretched over two pegs, they're stretched over three pegs. And the reason I'm going to do that is so his face will fit. I'm going to take band to go in the middle. Oops, I dropped it all the way through my room. Here. Still using double bands, by the way. And here. And now, just like any face, I'm going to go here, down another one here, and here. And you're just going to fill in the middle. And now for his eyes, I'm going to use black. You can also use black beads. I've never done that before. Well, I've used brown beads one time. So you're going to take the black around to make four loops. And take another black, one, two, three, four loops, and you're going to take a white, put it on there, and slide these eyes on, and make sure you get all the loops, 
and these eyes on. I mean, this eye on and this eye on. So you have the two eyes right there. And you're going to put them on the face. In the middle, right here. And turn this off. And now you're going to separate the eyes. And I'm going to stick my hook. Do you have these two in here? I'm going to stick my hook in between them and pull this one up so it makes a triangle. And if you want, you can make a mouth by replacing these with two red bands. And I thought the face might look a little crowded. I'm going to do it just so you can see how it looks. And I'm going to put one more band right here. And then some on the hat. Oh yeah, and a white one here too. And now for the hat, a purple one here, and a green one here. You know, I think I might double with that green one to make the hat more pointed. And then right there, it's just two bands, so it's fine. Actually, I'm going to double loop a band. Going here. There. That's better. I'm going to make him a big red nose. I'm going to take two reds, put them on the hook and wrap them once, twice, three times, and I'll make six loops. Then I'm going to take, I think, three bands. I have tried it with more bands before, but it didn't work. So I just used three, three bands. and put it right here kind of right in the middle right in the middle of his forehead oh and by the way I think I might have been off the one I was again so I put a purple single oh a white single here a purple single here and then a green doubled, and then I put it in between these two and slid it up with this one. And here I just put a purple doubled. And here's where we're going to pick them up, so we don't need anything there. It's also just a single thing. We wouldn't need anything there anyway. So I'm going to go back to the bottom and put a capping on. One, two, and three and I think I'm gonna do it one more time. Oh wait never mind I'm not doing Kevin. Forget that. We are going to do hair. Because you have the option of having some hair right here. So I'm gonna use the top of my loom. I'm gonna take an orange band Make it into a figure eight, fold it over on itself. So it's a cat band. And we're gonna stretch it here to here. And for a take another orange band and put it next to that one here to here. And one here, and where are my oranges? Oh, 
here's the last one. One here. And you're actually not going to put any cat bands on there. Well, these are all cat bands. I need more ones. Now, take one and put it down here. And another one. Go one, two, three, and four. So there should be four of something. And then I'm going to loop that. Go under cat band and pull up these two bottom bands. Go inside there and and just separate these a little bit. Pull up these two bands and these two bands and then go up again on both sides. And um, I actually already made one. And I'm going to take the random stuff off my hook so I can get to it. I've just been wanting to take the random stuff off my hook. So this is my other one here. You can also do like um make it a girl clown and do some longer hair or something. This is just what I thought of the first time I did it. And then you can take your hook and pull off this cat thing, which is gonna be hard to pull off. And this next one don't pull off those two. And you're gonna take this one on your hook and this one on your hook. And pull off those two using your hair. So now you have your two hair. Hair. And now I'm going to go to your face and put one grab the first four loops of your fingers. This might hurt your fingers a little bit. Sorry. And put it I'm having a lot of trouble as you can see. Put it right here on the white band with white pegs closest to that. And put the other one right there. So I know it looks weird now, but it'll look fine later. And now the other side. And take one. And put it. I'm putting this on weird because I didn't take it off right here. And the other one. And put it there. So now I am going to put his body on. This would be much easier if I would have shown you the right way and told you to do it one peg down, so then we could just put the body right there. I'm just going to put it on my better hook. This is just a smaller hook. I wish I had a metal hook, but I don't know. I haven't found any stores where I can get one yet. This may be a little hard. So basically you're just going to put this neck where the face is. Like at the bottom of the face. And make sure it doesn't pop off. I know it's going to cover the face. And now you're going to put it so that the arrow is pointing toward you. I mean, uh, my thing shows 
Oh, well, camera thingy shows things back. The arrows are actually facing toward me. And if you did a mouth, grab the top two bands. They'll be red. They'll be easy to spot. And move those forward. Reach back in. Grab. Next two bands. Your Y. I'm just doing one at a time. And I don't know which band is which. Sorry, guys. This is taking me forever. I'm just gonna grab whichever band is that one. Okay, and now you're going to go back in and grab the final two from the neck. <laughs> and now I'm just going to... Sorry, I went off camera for that. But you're just going to loop up that one, that one, and that one. I need to glue my loom to the tape. Now you're going to loop up this one, which has the nose on it. And you're going to take the little nose and pull it down. It's going to be so cute. And I'm gonna loop up the last one in the in the middle of the head. And then I'm gonna loop up this one. And you're not gonna do anything special for the hair. Just loop as if it was normal. And go in the hair bands, pushing back. And the purples. And now this last side. I find it easier to go in here, but make sure you're still pushing back all the bands except for these. And these. And I need these, but I just grabbed one. So now I'm going to grab the other one. Sorry, I'm really quiet. And now I'm going to look at the middle first. So once I get to the screen one, and then I'm gonna loop this one and this one and then I'm gonna go back oh whoops okay see these two which you just looped right there I'm gonna pull them and loop them around both of these pegs see like that because those are the ones we stretched, remember? If your bands are like about to break right now, um, just don't want to break. I don't know what else to do for you. Now you're going to pull up these two. And these two. Except I only grabbed one. I'm going to grab the other one now. And if they're all tight like mine are, they need to be two drops. So I'm going to go around with my hook in a circular motion around the peg. Pull, and eventually I'll just pop into a teardrop shape. So I'm going to grab these greens. And now the purples. These are really stiff on mine. And now. very last one. And now I'm going to go back down and gently pop him off the loom. The first time I tried to make this so that I could show you one, um, I forgot to hold a whole side of the face so I had to start over. Then I, but I tried to do one of those little sporty flowers, and it didn't turn out, so I just did the whole thing over, which is what I'm doing right now.
able to fit, but, not, but do not pull it up all the way. Make sure you're pulling all the bands off the pins. And if one band snaps, then there should be another one since we were doing it in pairs. There should be another one still holding it, and it'll be fine. Now I'm going to pop off this. And this. And I'm going to put my hook in here and pop off this. Oh my gosh, he is so cute. But I messed up something with this little bit right here, so I'm just going to take some scissors and snip it. If I can... Let me find some scissors. So I probably made you mess up that band too, so just take some scissors and this little loose band, just snip it. Now I'm going to make him like a little pom pom. So I'm going to take this around once, twice, and three times. And I'm going to take a few more. Another one, once, and three times. Once, twice, three times. I'm gonna do four of these. Once, twice. And then I'm gonna put a purple band, and I'm gonna slide all the little pom pom bands on. And I'm also going to slide him on this little hat. And I'm going to put the back end over the front end and pull it tight. And you can adjust him how we want for the eyes. Fenders go over the shoulders, make sure they do that. I think it might have looked better if I would have like made his neck white. And I think he looks so cute with his big clown shoes and he's upside down. But it looks like he has like four suspenders, so that's kinda weird, but <laughs> otherwise he's cute. I don't know how to make it look like he has two suspenders like he's really supposed to. If you wanted to make him have to look at lots of the back too, that would be like really complicated. So I'm just deciding not to do that. Oh, and this loop. How you hide it is just you go in the side of the hat, go up through the hat, making sure you stay in the hat. Grab that band and pull it through the hat. And then you pull the hat up. And that's your little clown. And he is like so adorable. I think the little smile turned out so cute. I'm gonna leave him here for a while so um, if you don't have a wider range to go to if you're skipping to the end of the video. It's just a little pom pom. And he's like looking at the camera. That was cool in real life, by the way. I mean, not that this is in real life. I mean, he looks cooler when he's. You can actually see him, he's not just in the video. And then there's that little band we need to cut, so. Oh, that's your little clown. Bye, see you in the next video, which I think will be my little alien.